Hey friends, so glad you're here. I wanna talk today about how to create a life motto and how just a few words can really help guide and impact our life and really how we do our relationships, how we do our work, how we just show up in the world. Now, I don't know if you've seen these, you probably have, these inspirational posters called successories. They're kind of those cheesy office decor posters that you see hanging on the walls. And they, they say things like, dare to soar, and believe and succeed, and, and then they have these words like perseverance with these really great definitions of what perseverance is. But I also like uh, demotivational posters. There's a whole nother series, kind of the antithesis to successories called demotivational posters. And it says things like this. We'll have a, a picture and it'll say ambition. And then underneath the word ambition, it'll say, don't be, don't be afraid to fail. Be afraid to get emotionally invested and then fail. Or they, they have this poster uh, that says dreams and it's kind of this inspirational image. And it says dreams are what you follow when you can't get a real job. And then my, my last one, which is really kind of my favorite de demotivational poster, says productivity. Just remember, however, however hard you work, you can always be replaced. Now, why do I bring up these posters? Because our life motto is sort of like a poster that we hang up in our office of our life and we believe it and we follow it and we let it be our guide. And really, uh, they're the words that we speak over ourselves every day. And so we gotta be really careful about what those words are and what, are, what is our life motto. And, and there's kind of a couple different ones that, that people tend to put over their life. Number one, there's an affirming life motto where we remind ourselves of our value and our ability. It, it, it reminds us and calls us to, to recognize our resilience and, and how we have survived something and our strength. And it's not fantasy. It's not like a, a successory where it's just kind of fluffy, foo-foo stuff. It's, it's reality. It's affirming. And that's really what I encourage you to have, an affirming motto or affirming words over your life. Or sometimes... Uh, we have a life motto that's actually quite destructive. Uh, it's based in shame and it's punitive. And it's all, we're always asking ourselves, like, why did we, why, why did we do that? And, and uh, we should have done something different. And, and the reason why we sometimes go to these destructive life mottos is because they feel comfortable and familiar. We've heard them so many times that we just keep going back to them. And then finally, some of us have a life motto over our life that is honestly just sort of confusing. We bounce back and forth about who we are and what we believe and what our values are. And we use the statements like kinda, sorta, and we're not really sure. But having a clear motto and a clear phrase that is over your life is really important. And here's why. Here's the big idea I want you to catch. Your life believes what you tell it. Every cell in your body is listening and you will walk what you talk. Let me do a little doodle here, what that looks like. So, so here you are, and you have these messages, you have this motto coming over your life, and whatever you're telling your life, and whatever you're telling yourself, whether it's, it's affirming, destructive, shame-based, or confusing, your life's going to believe that, and then you're going to go, and you're going to walk your talk. You're going to go out into your day and you're going to let that motto drive how you think about yourself, how you think about your future, how you think about others. And so it's really important to define a really good life motto. And let me give you kind of three things that make a great motto. Number one, keep it short. Uh, number two, keep it accurate. Uh, this isn't, so again, fantasy or successories or just sort of inspirational hype. We want it to be accurate about who you really are and, and, and who you really, what you're really going after in life and what's important to you. So it needs to be short, it needs to be accurate, and I encourage you to make it affirming, positive, encouraging. You know, my life motto, it's kind of a simple one that I tell myself all the time and especially when I'm anxious or worried or having a bad day, I tell myself this, this is my life motto, the story ends well. 
I just keep telling myself, the story ends well. I may be in a bad chapter or in a bad moment right now, but the story eventually ends well. And it's a message of hope. It's a message of, of truth. It is accurate. It is affirming. It's encouraging. It's very simple. And it's a statement that I tell myself all the time because it's important for me to remember that because I'm going to walk what I believe. I'm going to live out what I believe about my story. Now, some of us have mottos like this. It's meant to be hard. Or some people say, well, things just don't turn out for me. And you just keep telling yourself that over and over again. Some have the life motto of, this is as good as it gets. Guys, listen, our life motto matters because our life believes what we tell it. You will walk what you talk. So say strong, accurate things to yourself, and you will experience the type of life you are made for. Hey, if you've enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, or share it with a friend. We'll see you next time.